All right, guys, welcome back to devlog number two. Today we are actually talking about the second portion of our Santa AI. Uh, we have finished up his hearing sense and as well as his patrol path, which I believe I only talked about his sight the last time. So we've done a few things since then. Um, kind of just did a quick gloss over of touch sense, prediction sense. So we'll get over, we'll, we'll go into that here in a second. Um, but real quick, just wanted to showcase our um, progress with Santa's new patrol path instead. So if you remember from the previous video, Santa would just kind of, um, well, I guess I could just simulate it here for you. Santa would just kind of roam, if you will. He would just move to a random location, wait five seconds, and go around, so on and so forth. Now, if we get high enough up, we can kind of see his whole projected map that he gets to walk around. Now... It, it, it probably could be, you know, probably could be refined a little. There could be a few more points to make it look a little better to where it doesn't just look like he's actually following a path. So might tune, might look into that, might tune into that a little more. You can also actually probably put some into the maze so he does dip into the maze a little bit. But we'll see. We'll see about that. Uh, but as of right now, he does actually follow the, follow the path to its uh, full loop. As you see here in a second, he goes to, I think this is number eight or nine. Once he gets to that one, runs back, and he'll just continuously keep doing the loop. So that is the current patrol path that we have for him. So that way, he is no longer going to run somewhere back into this corner and get stuck. He's never going to stay somewhere back here for too long and not find a way to get back out. He's always going to come back to one of these points Whatever last point he touched, the next one is what he's going to go back to no matter what. So that way it keeps him keeps him flowing, keeps him interesting, keeps him actually in the city or in the, uh, I said city, in the the um, subdivision frontier, not so much hanging out in the back houses. So the dangers of crossing house to house to do puzzles and to collect your presents is going to be much greater because he will always be somewhere within line of sight of you. Now... Uh, we did have a little bit of a hiccup where sound wasn't working with him. So whenever I did my on landed, if we do that, boom, we can see he is currently following his path. I, he did, he does not see me right now, but if I do make a noise, so what was happening before was whenever I would jump, he would not go to said point. So if I jump right now, you see, he's currently targeting a path to where I last was or my, my, my sound. He doesn't see me, so what does he do? He goes back to his patrol task. Well, he actually just saw me right there because he saw me through that, so that's big yikes. Okay, you are on my ass really fucking fast. No, you're not. Not anymore. Well, I'm just going to wait him out here. There we go. All right, so he's going to go back to the sound we, he last heard, which is going to be right there. Hopefully, he does not walk inside. No, he does not. Okay, good. So, he goes to that point. What's the next one he's going to go to? It's right over there. So, there we go. There we have it. Santa's patrol path plus sight in sound. So, he hears me. He also saw me too, but he doesn't know where I'm at anymore. But he can't get in. So, he's just going to be right there for right now. Because it's blocked off by the wood. Now, let's talk about the prediction sense. Because I was uh, under the impression prediction meant something a little different but maybe it's just not super fine-tuned or maybe there is a way to fine-tune it it's just doesn't really it didn't fit well in the way it was being portrayed kind of made it seem that was what was breaking santa in the first first place you know seeing you run and the next you know he just runs in a different direction so this i drew up a little diagram here it's not good but it's the best thing i could think of so the the game example I will give is Dead by Daylight. You know, when you're playing a killer, obviously it's a human controlling that character. Whenever if this is if this is our, your killer here, X is your kill, uh, killer, and uh, the circle is your player, the player is going to run around this this obstacle here. Now in Dead by Daylight, if it's a human character, obviously they want to meet you at the middle they don't want to just continuously loop and chase you around which is where you get the whole looping thing from in the game so some of them might be smart and they will actually go to its second option here to cut you off right at the middle so if you're still running this way 
you're going to be in for a great surprise whenever your killer is right here waiting for you. Well, that's what I assumed that the prediction sense was going to be doing for our Santa. But instead, what it's doing is it is taking my last known location, which would be right here in this spot as soon as it loses me. And it's assuming this right here. It's assuming that within whatever time frame you set, if you give it, like, like if you say 60 seconds, it's going to say, okay, in 60 seconds, he's going to be way up here in this spot. Or or in, in five seconds, he, he'll be right here in this spot. Well, that's not the case. Uh, if anything, I'm going around like what I was just explaining with the Dead by Daylight. So instead of him predicting that and just cutting me off, which I don't really know if that'd be considered prediction sense or just, I don't know, common sense, but it's more so just thinking of it sees me here. It sees me running in a straight... The last thing it's going to see me is me beelining it this way straight. So it's predicting that in how whatever time I set, five seconds, I will be right here. So instead of actually chasing me around this way, I might come this way. The last thing it would have seen is me go up. So it's going to run straight up this way instead. It's not actually going to... Okay, this is this is where he's seeing me. I'm just gonna run around this way and come this way. No, he's literally he's going to follow me on this path. Let's get a green line here so we can see it. So he will follow me on this path. This is the last known location he saw me. It's predicting I went straight. So instead of seeing me run right right around this corner after he gets to here, he's just gonna continue going straight to there. Now again, I know that's a lot of weird diagram stuff, but that's the way my brain is perceiving it and the way I'm, I'm understanding it to its, its max. So I do not think we are going to keep prediction sense in here. I honestly like what we have so far with Santa. It's, it's very simple. Now, I mean, his beach, his behavior tree is, you know, not the, not the biggest behavior tree, but it's simple. Comes down here, roaming sequence. He has his investigation sequence for the sound, but he also has his patrol task. This, I, I honestly don't know if this actually works anymore because it'd be kind of pointless to have patrol, to move to random location if there's a patrol. Um, but if he is patrolling and he does see us, it comes over to here. Chase sequence, move to last known location, which pretty much happens every time. And then we go from there. So that is what we currently have. Uh, and honestly, I think after we check out our nav mesh making sure everything's good i think that is completely it for santa's ai we should be completely done with this last thing we need to add is our death animations brought to you by yours truly taylor um like i said there, there was there, there was a lot of major setbacks but i think we are finally at the end end game here with uploading this last bit and then getting the game completely finished so um, a lot to improve on in, uh, in future games and even updates for this game but we will uh we will definitely uh, see what we can uh, accomplish until then yeah